Hey friends, Miss Cassie here with Soul and Public Library's Digital Story Time. This month we're talking all about water, and this week we are going to talk about how we use water during bath time. <laughs> but first, we need to sing our welcome song and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're gonna wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast and put them on our knees. Okay, here we go. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. All right, what do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, stomp your feet. What do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right. For our last verse, we'll be as quiet as we can. And we'll whisper, hooray. If you want to read a book, Whisper hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. Our theme song this month is called Water. <laughs> And in this song, we will listen, and we will swim, and we will scrub ourselves clean, and uh, our fish will splash. Here we go. I like the sound of the ocean. At the lake, I swim as I wish. I scrub myself clean in the bathtub while my aquarium splashes with fish. Water, water, it takes care of all of us. Water, water, we take care of it too. Yay! Our first book this week is Bears in the Bath. It is written by Shirley Parentau and illustrated by David Walker. Now, raise your hand if you like taking baths. I do. But sometimes you can be having so much fun that you don't want to stop and take a bath. So let's see what our friends do in this book to see if they like to take baths or if they try to avoid taking baths. Water, soap, and sponge are there. The bath is ready, but where are the bears? Big brown bear calls them in. His eyes get bigger. Where have they been? Ew. Dust and dirt, smudge floppy bear. Are those cobwebs in her hair? <laughs> Do you think that floppy bear has taken a bath recently or does she need to take a bath? Cobwebs in her hair, she needs a bath. Fuzzy bear trudges in, mud spatters her from toes to chin. Oh, she needs a bath too. Now Calico runs from the yard with sweaty fur from playing hard. What's that smell? Yellow bear, he's stinky and he doesn't care. Oof, we have 
four bears that need a bath. They're reeky, yucky, grimy bears. Look, mud and paw prints everywhere. Uh-oh, four grungy bears see the tub and big brown bear waiting to scrub. And all four bears back away. We don't want a bath, they say. But the big bear says, you need a scrub. And he chases them around the tub. He scoops up one and then two more. He grabs the last, he's got all four. They won't go in, the bears all wriggle. The more he tries, the more they giggle. Oh no, now Big Brown Bear has smudges and smears from the tips of his toes to the tops of his ears. Hmm. <gasps> Splish, splash, sploosh. He jumps in the tub. He grabs some soap and starts to scrub. <laughs> <laughs> he splashes water, he splashes bears. He sure is having fun in there. Hmm. Yellow bear dives right in. He piles suds on Big Bear's chin. I think that Big Bear figured out how to encourage the other bears to get in the tub. He's having so much fun that they want to jump in and play too. Floppy and Fuzzy hop over the rim. Now Calico gets in with them. Sure enough, take a look. They toss the bubbles, they giggle and shriek. Soon each little bear is clean and sleek. Mm. Yay! They dry their fur. What fun it's been. Now all five bears are clean again. The end. Well, that sure looked like a fun bath time, didn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna sing a song about taking a bath ourselves. And there are different things we need to do in the bathtub <laughs> to get ourselves clean. So we need to scrub our whole bodies, make sure we get all clean. Then we're gonna wash our hair, and we're gonna wash our faces, and we're gonna clean our faces, and we're gonna scrub our toes. <laughs> and in this song, <clears throat> we take a bath so early in the morning. But you can change the words to this song to be about any time you take a bath. So you could take a bath right before bedtime, you could change that last line. Or you could say, after playing outside. And you can also add in your own actions. So if you wanna sing a whole verse about scrubbing your tummy, you can totally do that. But today we're just gonna sing about taking a bath, washing our hair, cleaning our face, and scrubbing our toes. Here we go. This is the way we take a bath, take a bath, take a bath. This is the way we take a bath so early in the morning. This is the way we wash our hair, wash our hair, wash our hair. This is the way we wash our hair so early in the morning. This is the way we clean our face, clean our face, clean our face. This is the way we clean our face so early in the morning. This is the way we scrub our toes, scrub our toes, scrub our toes. This is the way we scrub our toes so early in the morning. One of the most fun things about taking a bath are the bubbles. Either the bubbles from your shampoo or your soap or uh, the bubble bath in your water. So we're gonna do a little run called Blow Those Bubbles. And we have 
some bubbles here. We have one big bubble and we have two medium sized bubbles and we have three small bubbles. <laughs> And so we are going to try to blow some bubbles. Have you ever done that either with a bubble wand or sometimes you can take the soap and make a little bubble wand with your hand and then try to blow a bubble that way. So we're gonna pretend that we're gonna blow these bubbles. And I have my little die here that has different numbers of dots on it and we're gonna see how many bubbles we are able to blow. So we're gonna pull our bubbles down here and we're gonna, um, and we're gonna say our little rhyme and roll our dice. Bubbles, they are so much fun. I would like to make some. Take a breath and off we go. How many bubbles can we blow? Ooh, how many bubbles did we blow? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. All six bubbles. Five and one is six. So let's count them together. One, two, three, four, Five and six. Six bubbles. Way to go. All right. We're going to pop our bubbles. Pop, 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 pop. And we're going to do it again. Bubbles, they are so much fun. I would like to make some. Take a breath and off we go. How many bubbles can we blow? Ooh, how many bubbles did we blow this time? That's right. One, two, three. Three bubbles. Ready? One, two, Three, three bubbles. And look, we have one big bubble, one medium bubble, and one small bubble. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. Pop, pop, pop. Bubbles, they are so much fun. I would like to make some. Take a breath and off we go. How many bubbles can we blow? Ooh, how many bubbles did we blow this time? That's right. One, two, three, four. Four bubbles. One, two, three, and four. This time we got one, two, two small bubbles and one, two, two medium sized bubbles. <laughs> Yay! Our last book today is called Bubbles Bubbles <laughs> and it is written by Kathy Appelt with pictures by Fumi Kosaka. Bubbles, bubbles, perfect, because we just did our whole little rhyme about bubbles, didn't we? <laughs> dirty fingers, dirty toes, dirty shoulders, dirty nose. All my dirty deeds are done. Time to have some bubble fun. Yellow ducky, quack, quack, quack. Hello, froggy, now I'm back. Dip a finger, dip a toe. No more waiting, in we go. Oh, this friend is excited to take a bath, aren't they? 
Bubbles, bubbles in the towels. Splishy, splashy, splooshy scrubbles. <laughs> Glimmer, glitter through the air. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. <laughs> scrub the tummy, scrub the knees, scrub the elbows if you please. Bubbles on my shinny shin, shazam, they're on my chinny chin. <laughs> Have you ever done that with bubbles where you make a pretend beard <laughs> or a pretend hairstyle? Rub a dub a pink shampoo. <laughs> make a scary hairy do. Look, that's what this friend is doing, huh? Bubble mustache, bubble wishes, blow a million soapy kisses. Bubbles, bubbles in the tubbles, splishy, splashy, splooshy scrubbles, glimmer, glitter through the air, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Squeaky, ducky, leaky frog, everybody's waterlogged. You know what waterlogged means? Waterlogged means so full of water, too much water. And if you've been in the bath for a long time and your fingers get all raisiny, you are waterlogged. Flippy flappy, splishy splosh. <laughs> what a fishy wishy wash. Twinkle fingers, twinkle toes, shiny shoulders, shiny nose. Give a shimmy, give a shake. Bring a towel, for goodness sake. Dry the tootsies, dry the mop, your mop of hair. Squeaky clean from tush to top. All the waters disappeared. Raise a scrubbly, tubbly cheer. Yay! Flannel bottoms, flannel shirt. Goodbye, Bubbles. Goodbye, dirt. The end. <laughs> this friend takes a bath at the end of the day, right before bed. We talked about how that is sometimes people take baths at different times, right? Perfect time to take a bath, right before you get snuggled into bed. <laughs> All right, friends. <laughs> It is the end of our story time this week, which means it is time for our goodbye song. Here we go. We read a book and we 